Yo, Vincent here. So, this video, we're gonna look at hidden ability Badoof, which is Moody, and it raises one stat by two stages and lower another one by one stage every turn. So, at the end of the turn, it will do that, which is pretty good, uh, especially when you wanna do baton pass and stuff like that. Alright, so there's two ways to do this. Both of them are post game. The first one is go to the battle area, get 200 battle points, which, in my opinion, is quite a long time and quite a bit of battles. And you get the ability patch where you can give to any Pokemon and get the hidden ability. Second way is to get the Poke Radar, which you can get after you completed your Sinnoh decks by seeing, not catching, just seeing all the Pokemon there. Um, I'm gonna put end of the video where there's maybe like some where you may miss like the other legendary and Drift Bloom. And also, I guess I'll show you where to get the counter at the end because that'll be helpful just to know. Just, just know how much you're on for the chain. And yeah, so bring a lot of Max Repels and you want to start chain catching them because the more you encounter, the more you can get a chance to hit ability because the chance of getting a hit ability is 1 out of 128. It doesn't increase with every chain, but you'd rather see more of this, this Pokemon than another Pokemon, right? So Badoof actually spawned a lot of places. I'm pretty sure you guys seen a lot of it. In the game, so you have to find one of those grassy patches. Uh, I went to a pretty decent, big-sized grassy patch in Route 203. So I'm gonna go to that one at Jubilee City. I'm gonna fly there. This is the same area as Ralts, by the way. So I went this way. Um, I actually found the Moody Badoof in this grass patch, but the better chance. Of course, you want to bring your Max Repel, okay? So use that. Don't, you don't go into any encounters, because then if you were due to chain, and then somehow you get interrupted, the chain is broken. Okay, so what you want, you come here, you activate the, the Poke Radar. You want to go to the furthest one away from where you're standing when you first activate it, or when the battle's over. And I got a Ralt, okay? I'm just gonna show you the process here. Like, so if it's not a Pokemon that you want, you would run away. If it is a Pokemon that you want, you would you would battle it, you would destroy it, right? Or you can catch it. If you catch it, you got a higher chance. So you can do that too. For the chain not to break, okay? Because you don't want a chain to break. Once, so you're supposed to do this until you get a Badoof. I'm just showing you with Ralt. So another one will spawn here, right? You wanna go to the furthest one away from you. Use your Pythagorean Theorem Brain, right? So you keep chaining it until you get a hidden ability. And it will be good if you brought a Pokemon with Trace. So check out my other video for Ralt's video. That one can, you know, help you to get this Ralt. Of course, I'm getting a Ralt right here. You can just get one right here. Uh, so get one with Trace, okay? And then you can just put it in the front. You can, I mean, actually go level it first. And then go in the front. Of course, after you use it, you have to like use 50 steps to recharge it. Right? So you keep doing this with a tracer until Badoof comes up and then you keep that chain. And uh, I'll show you the video when I got the Badoof. <laughs> the equal distance away. What? Badoof? Now, now I'm seeing Badoofs. Oh, look, H.A. <laughs> I got an H.A. Badoof. <laughs> Yo. But yeah, thanks for watching. And of course, it's going to take a long process. If you want, you can come by Twitch. I have a Twitch redemption. I believe if you follow, you have enough just to redeem it. You can have me breed you one of the ones I already have. So feel free to come by Twitch. Socials down below. And I'll show you the clips now on the other random tips to like complete your decks and maybe help out. Just informational stuff. Later days. And one of the ones that you will probably need is the other legendary that you didn't catch or see in the story. And in order to do that, you will go to Celeste Town, right? Uh, and then you go into the back here, in this cave, this house. And there's the old lady that can talk talk to you about the legendary Pokemon right there. And now you have seen it. You got it in your decks. So what you need to do is go to a Friday, right? 
So what you can do is go to your actual system. <laughs> I'm gonna do some time hacks here. Let's see. System change, date time. Let's see, Friday was what, two days ago? It's Sunday right now. Sure. And then you wanna enter a house and, and exit. Then I'll respawn the Drift Loom at Floroma Town. That's where you want to go. So, if you guys not sure where that is, it's right here. Go right to... And apparently you should see it around here. Oh, there it is. There we go. Good luck. <laughs> Alright, to get the counter, you would just fly to San Gem Town. And then you're gonna end up surfing down here and get to the park right down here, right? So this is the area where you want to go to. Just a building at the end. I'll fly to show you where the what the building looks like at least. Okay. Right. So this is what the building looks like. You're gonna make your way from here. You go in, talk to Professor Oak. You get the the, the counter, and then that's the counter that you see right here on the top right. It'll tell you the top three, and it'll tell you the current one that you have available if you got one. 